100 trips to the cargo ship. Who else in the world, if not I, is going to sign up for such an unthinkable idea? Do you know how long does it take to complete the full cargo ship run? Considering the three hackable crates, I suddenly realized that it will take some time to do all the runs. So because of that, I decided to do my cargo ship runs a little differently. First, I had to separate the received loot into three categories. Loot received from the scientists, overall crate loot, and the hackable crates. First, I cleared all of the scientists. Once I did that, I moved the received loot into the boxes placed for scientist loot. Once I was done with that, I came back, looted the overall crates, those include elite, military and normal crates, and I moved the received loot into boxes placed for overall crate loot. After days of repeating the same routine, I finally finished my 100 runs to the cargo ship. The only thing left to do was to spawn 300 hackable crates and loot those too. Now to get the glance of understanding of how much loot you're about to see, let's see how many crates can you find throughout the single run. In total, there are 3 hackable crates, 27 possible normal, military and elite crate spawns, and 12 scientists that are guarding the ship. Alright, enough talking and let's get straight into the loot review. Here's the loot from the 3 different categories. This is the combined loot from 100 runs to the cargo. As you can see, I received 52 supply drops, and I wasn't gonna let them go to waste. Okay, 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 so this is the loot from the supply drops. Finally, this is the final loot after recycling every bit of item I received. That's it with the video, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.